help me tell your neighbor, shining for Jesus is not a sin. You've got to wear that cap and wear it well. Go for masters, become the valedictory and stand and say, Jesus is Lord. Nobody will take mic from you. They can only talk to you after they cannot fail you because now you have, been, you have finished. How many of you watched the day Kaka won the World Cup or whatever and he pulled his shirt and Jesus was written on it? I will stand there and preach to 200 people. On that day that Kaka removed his uniform, the Bible, I said, Bible, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a preacher. It was said that Kaka reached out to over 3.2 billion souls with the word Jesus is Lord. Never carried a mic. Never said anything but a man who honed his skill. Which skill has Jesus given to you? We have a little boy at home. He's drawing cartoons and he'll be drawing cartoons that look like darkness. My wife called him and said, Oh God, this your talent is to draw Jesus. <laughs> Represent Jesus. This your IT skill that you want to be doing things like kangaroo. Represent Jesus. It's Jesus we want you to represent. You need to shine. Arise, shine, for your light has come. So we are stars. We are not beggarly. We are born to reign. We are born to take over. As he is, so are we in this world. Reverend Gideon put balance on it. There's a balance to that. On our earthly operation, I tell you the truth. I, I, have you read the scripture that says, from Arwa, even unto, I've forgotten the other name, he said there was no city too strong for us. No city was too strong for them to take, except that which the Lord is saying don't take. So when you are here, you should know the length, the breadth, all right? The height and the depth of the things God wants you to achieve here. So with that, it gives, it gives you the boundaries of operation. As far as this place is concerned, you have not been given. It has not been given to you. So you hold your ground and you insist that this is what God has said to you. And because God has said it, you will walk in it. You are a star. Never you go to your office, even though you have a superior officer, and behave as though you don't know anything, and when they talk, your, your knees are locking and shaking. You speak like though you don't have confidence. The Bible says, being confident of this thing, that God who has begun a good work in you, we accomplish it even unto his coming. And he said another thing. He said, do not cast away your confidence, which has has great recompense of reward. I'm a star. I am not beggarly. I tell you, I know when to say I'm a star. I know when to say I'm a servant. I know when to demonstrate servanthood. When I go to the marketplace, I behave as a star. I represent my father. You know some of us sing, I know who I am. You don't really know. You sing it as a lyrics. If you know who you are, there are certain things you will not take. Some of us have conformed to images in our mind. Images in our, in our soul. Not because you went through it, oh, because somebody has just went through it. Say, ah, if Austin can go through this thing, hey, there's, no, there's no need for us to travel that way. Come on, my friend, roll off your sleeve. Smell the coffee. And run! You are a star! I am not preaching, no. You are a star. 